Today, we are going to focus on a topic, data life cycle in the data analytics world. How does understanding the data life cycle help you? Whether you are a beginner or a data professional, or just curious about how data evolves, understanding the data life cycle empowers you to unlock its full potential. This journey allows you to streamline processes, optimize technology, and recognize the critical role of individuals in the data ecosystem. So without further ado, let's dive into the topic, data life cycle. Like how processes follow a life cycle in every other system, data undergoes an evolution through multiple stages. What are those stages? Generate, collect, process, store, manage, analyze, visualize, and interpret. As we delve into these stages, let's understand why the data life cycle is often described as a cycle. Because insights gathered from one data stage inform the next, creating a continuous loop of improvement and refinement. In this way, the final step of the process seamlessly feed back into the first which develops a dynamic and iterative approach to data management. All right, let's dive into these stages now. First one, generate. Every data journey begins with a generate stage, meaning the data must be generated in the first place to kick off its life cycle. This data generation happens all the time throughout the business operations, sometimes without us even realizing it thanks to the digital world. What would that generated data look like? Your sales, your procurement, your customer interaction, your store visits, everything related to your business generates data. This generated data can be in diverse formats. It can be in tables, files, images, videos, you name it. It can be in any structure when it comes to its format. Okay, let me ask you this. Since now you have generated data, do you think you can leverage this data right away to drive your business? Well, not quite. Why not? Because the data at this stage is in the raw form. However, understanding the origin of your data is critical to ensure its accuracy and relevance it needs to move to the following stages to derive what you want to derive. So let's move to the next stage, collect. The collect stage is also called the extract stage because this stage involves extracting the data from all those diverse sources we just discussed about and consolidating it in a centralized location. This could mean integrating the data from its origin into your data landscape. This stage is more like collecting the rocks from the ground and bringing them to the lab where they will be transformed into gemstones. Next up, we are heading to the process stage. The process stage is also known as the transform stage. Before we dive into the details of the process stage, let's take a step back for a quick recap of the previous two stages. The output of the generate stage, that is raw data from diverse sources, is fed as the input to the collect stage. Similarly, the output of the collect stage, that is consolidated raw data, is fed to the process stage. Now let's understand what happens within the process stage. Here, raw data undergoes a series of activities like cleaning, formatting, aggregating, etc. It standardizes the raw data collected from diverse sources into a unified structured format. So what is the output of the process stage? It's a refined and standardized data set. With this, it prepares the data for analysis by addressing inconsistencies and errors and ensures it aligns with the desired format. Think of it as the stage that brings order to the data chaos. Now, let's talk about the stage store. This is also known as load stage. 
process data needs a home and that's where storage comes into the picture whether it's a traditional database a data warehouse or a data lake selecting the right storage solution is crucial for accessibility security and scalability when determining how to best store data for your organization it's important to build in a certain level of redundancy to ensure that a copy of your data will be protected and accessible even if the source becomes corrupted let's make it simple think of it as having a spare key to your house this ensures that even if the source gets compromised we always have a backup that is readily accessible that is exactly what we are doing even when it comes to data creating the redundancy or backup for data so what comes out of the store stage which is ready for the next step securely stored and processed data from the store stage which is all set for future use and analysis now that we have this solid base let's move on to the next stage manage as data accumulates effective management becomes essential this involves implementing policies and procedures to make sure data stays accurate organized secure and ready for action throughout the life cycle it's like having a meticulous librarian who not only keeps the books organized but also makes sure they are protected and easily accessible as organizations create and consume data at unprecedented rates data management solutions become essential for extracting valuable insights from vast quantities of data so it's time to talk about the output of the managed stage what is it an efficiently maintained and organized data for further analysis moving forward we reach the analyze stage what does data analysis refer to it refers to the processes that try to gather meaningful insights the drive business here data is put to work how is that done using various analytical techniques we uncover patterns trends and insights that drive informed decision making the analysis phase is where the true value of data starts to emerge analysts and data scientists use different tools and strategies to conduct this analysis some of the more commonly used methods include statistical modeling and ai ml algorithms for data mining they craft the narrative that guides our journey so the analyze stage yields the outcome of meaningful insights to drive informed decision making stay tuned for the next one visualize now with the insights in hand we progress to the visualize stage it involves creating graphical representations of your information through the use of visualization tools such as power bi tableau looker etc you may ask why these visuals when you have the data handy because visuals are powerful communicators especially those who are business facing who do not necessarily have the technical skill set for them visualizations such as charts graphs and dashboards make complex findings clear and compelling which enhances their understanding and facilitates data driven storytelling last but certainly not the least we arrive at the interpret stage the interpretation phase of the data life cycle provides the opportunity to make sense of your analysis and visualization beyond simply presenting the data this is where you investigate it through the lens of your expertise and understanding meaning here we are not just decoding the patterns but we are translating them into meaningful narratives what do the patterns mean for your business how do these insights shape the business landscape how can they drive your strategy interpretation brings context and actionable intelligence into your data and turns it into a guide for informed decision making so with the interpret stage it wraps up our data journey having said that we are calling it a cycle the interpreting stage 
must loop back to the very first generate stage, right? Let's break it down. Imagine you are running an e-commerce business. In the interpret stage, you have unraveled the data insights that show a significant increase in the customer engagement with a specific product category during certain seasons. Now with this understanding, you decide to generate more targeted marketing campaigns for those specific seasons. So what exactly happened here? Your interpretation of the data derived from the analyze and visualization stages guides you to generate more relevant data in the upcoming seasons. So in the generate stage, you strategically create more data by launching promotions, introducing new products and enhancing customer interactions during those peak times. In a sense, the interpret stage acts as the compass guiding the generate stage. It's where we don't just learn from the past, but actively shape the future data we generate. This dynamic relationship between interpretation and generation is what keeps our data journey cyclical and ever evolving. Now, as we conclude our exploration, remember that the end of one data project is just the beginning of the next and the lessons learned in interpretation pave the way for new insights in generation. It's a continuous loop of improvement and discovery. And there you have it, the data life cycle in the analytics world. Like I mentioned before, whether you are just starting to explore the world of data or you are a seasoned professional, understanding each phase of the data life cycle is crucial for leveraging the full potential of your data. Thanks for your time and attention. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing for more content. See you in the next video.